Welcome to another video on an Excel template from Inzara.com. This is about the new world heat map by continent Excel template. This is a free Excel template that you can download from Inzara.com, which you can use to visualize the data you have at the continent level. And in this video, we will be doing a live demo of how the template works so that you can understand how to enter your own data and create such visualizations instantly. So let's get started. So this is our template and in the heat map sheet, we have the instructions. It's very, very simple to use. There are only three steps and um, the actual heat map itself is on this page itself. So now the instructions, the first step, enter the data in this table and you can enter the data by continent and you can just type in the values here in the data column or you can copy data if you have some another spreadsheet and then paste them. Uh, when you paste them, make sure that you paste values and paste values. This is how you should paste it. Um, otherwise, you, if you're going to type them in, you can type them in directly here. The order does not matter, but then the spelling uh, does matter. So if you um, enter the data or enter the names of the continents by yourself, make sure that the specific spelling is followed. Otherwise, the map will not display correctly. Okay, so after you enter the data in this table, we move on to the second step, which is enter the settings. So we have a few options here. Um, so you can now and uh, choose to display the continent name or not. So if I choose no, continent name will not appear and similarly I can choose to display my data value or not and if I choose yes they will if I choose no they disappear the third option is the color scheme so you can you have two options so the color by range or gradient color so let's just choose gradient color easier to explain so the gradient color as you can see it is applying a gradient color conditional formatting here uh, which I can show quickly how that works. So the, these are the colors that are going to be used based on the value of for each continent. And you can see that the three color scale lowest will be the red. The highest value will have the green, which is why Asia has the highest because we have population data and the midpoint is the gold. And so this is the color scheme that will be applied if it is gradient color. If you change this to color by range, you will have more control over the colors. And this is where you can enter some data ranges and then assign color according to the range. Um, let's say for example here, so any value from one to less than 30 million will be green in color. Any value from 30 million up to less than 400 million will be in brown and so on. So any value greater than 4 billion will be pink. And so based on the data here, Asia is the only country which has more than 4 billion. And so that's why it is in the pink color. And then um, the lowest is Antarctica, which is again shown in green, uh, which is greater than one, but less than 30 million. And so for example, if you want to change the color, you can change the color to let's say um, gray for Antarctica. So Antarctica now turns gray. So this is how you can control the colors and you can also control the data ranges and in you may not uh, display the population data you may have some other data which has different range of values so you could just type in if let's say one to three thousand should be green so you just put three thousand um, and similarly you can type your own data and i'm going to do undo so let's say your data does not have so many ranges you don't need all this you don't have to enter them, just select them, press the delete key, which will remove the values. And so if you do that, don't delete the whole row, just select the values and press delete, and then it'll just remove the contents of the cells. And what has happened here is that anything over um, 700 million now is actually given the violet color. And so all the three continents which have more than 700 million now show violet and so I'm going to do undo bring back the data and then now it'll update the colors okay now that is how you can use the data ranges and the colors now the last thing is the title and the comments so you can enter the title which will appear at the top and any comments you enter the data um, population trend 
anything you enter here will actually show up here in the on the map display. Okay, so that's the settings. The final step is the viewing or printing of the map. And you can see the map here clearly, um, and you can go and print them if you'd like. So go file print, and now it will by default have settings also in, in the display. And if in case you don't want it, um, you can just select just these cells, and then you can actually go and say file um, sorry, page layout, print area, set print area. And then when we go to file print, now you'll see only the map area to be displayed for printing. So this is how you can um, print. Uh, and you can also export to PDF. So you can go to export and then hit create PDF. It'll create a PDF document you can share. Um, the last part is you can also right click and copy and then this copies the image and then you can paste it anywhere else. Um, you can paste it in Excel, you can paste it in another Word document or PowerPoint. Um, so that is how you can leverage the output of this heat map template. Um, just to recap again, enter the data in the data table, control the settings to get the design or the display you want, and then the map updates instantly and you can print or export or copy the image. Um, and we have other videos um, which talk about more use cases or uses for such templates you can use uh, as an educational tool in schools to teach location of the um, countries or states or um, continents and uh, also some other um, purposes that these templates can be used. So definitely check out those videos. You can find the link to download this free template from inzara.com in the video description. And if you find such videos and templates useful, please provide your comments in the comment section, like and share the videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive notifications of future videos about Excel and Excel templates. Thank you very much for watching this video.